Today, I want to talk about why I trust this style of NXMD respirator and these P100 filters. This is a NIOSH approved source control respirator that filters air going in and coming out to protect yourself and others. But that's not the reason why I trust this particular mask. The reason why I trust this particular mask is simple. It's that I've tested it with this particle counting machine that's designed to test masks. Now, based on that, I know that this mask seals really well on my face and these filters filter extremely well. So for me, that's what makes me trust it. As far as the mask goes, it fits me well. It's comfortable, has a good forgiving cushy seal. You can buy it uh, in a package with the filters so that you don't have to try to figure out what to get separately. And overall, in terms of cost and availability, I think it's a very good choice to make. Now, I'm going to compare this to one of the nearest competitors, the easiest to get mask, which is going to be the GVS Ellipse, which you can get on Amazon. So here is the GVS Ellipse. You may have seen it before. I've got a mask fit test adapter on it. And let's take a look at the inside. This is also a NIOSH approved source control respirator that filters air going in and air going out. It goes right out the same filters. There's no valves involved. For me, the disadvantage of this mask is it's very narrow compared to other masks, but also that the cushion is really thin and not very forgiving. On me, when it works, this works okay, but sometimes the seal breaks at the chin and lets air go through, causing my fit factor scores to plummet and making this a mask that filters very poorly overall because of the total inward leakage. So if you don't have access to fit testing, I cannot recommend this mask, even though it's easy to get. You may be better off with an N95 than this particular elastomeric mask. We'll take a look at some other options that we've got. So another popular mask that you can get a hold of would be a 3M 6000 series mask. It's a lightweight mask, seals well on my face. It uses valves, but you can make it into a source control respirator as well. First off, to get this with the particle filters, you generally have to buy the 6000 series separately. And then you can buy these 7093 cartridges, uh, or you can put together a combination uh, to create N95 cartridges, which means you have to buy these bottom plates, buy a box of these filters, and separately buy these filter covers. That turns out to be kind of inconvenient just to get filters for this mask. So in, in that way, I would say the Dentec is superior in that you can get these cartridges uh, all assembled, but they're not my favorite cartridges. I think they have issues. I think these are better cartridges, even if they're less convenient. Let's take a look at the preferred uh, configuration of this mask. These are generally preferred for COVID because you can wipe down the filters and they won't get splatter on them directly. Um, with these guys, oops, it's got a straw on top. They have a great advantage over some types of masks is that you can squeeze them and that blocks off all the air. And if you inhale and can't get any air through the seal of the mask, you know it's sealing well on you. You can do that with other masks. You can hold your hands over this Dentec but it's hard to cover these big filters. You may need to put a piece of plastic over it to help you cover it for that negative pressure check. Getting back to the 3M, you can make this into a source control mask. You can buy this separate 604 exhalation valve filter. By putting it on the exhalation port, you can create an, a, a source control mask. And when you don't need a source control mask, you can take this off but it does make the mask bulkier. You now have kind of a gigantic mask and it's um, not quite as easy to breathe through these P100 filters as it is the Dentex. These are a little bit more breathable. There's another source control mask uh, that's NIOSH approved that you can get. And it's got a unique feature that these other masks don't have. This is the MSA Advantage 900 mask and it has a little speech diaphragm it goes right where the valve used to be in older models of the mask. That lets you be uh, more intelligible and it doesn't let any air out. It's something that a lot more masks could use and I wish 3M would add one. 
Disadvantage of this mask, it's kind of expensive. It has an odd size. This is the large size. And here is a large Dentac. You'll notice that it's re really, really different. Not as tall and much, much wider. So if you need a taller mask, getting the larger isn't necessarily going to help you if you get the MSA. Also, the filters are sold separately, which doesn't sound like a big deal, except sometimes you might have to order a minimum quantity of four, two pair, uh, just because of the way certain retailers work. So these look like this. Um, they also have a bayonet connection, and they have a little rim around them that makes it easier to do a seal check as you can place your hand over these smaller filters. So a good mask, odd sizing, more expensive, um, but it do does have something that um, the more popular mask doesn't have. It has a good cushioning seal. Again, unlike this GVS Ellipse, which has a really kind of hard, unforgiving seal, uh, do not use this with stubble. This is not a forgiving seal, does not work well with stubble. So given all of these choices, I have to say that overall, the Dentec is a good compromise at a good price point, especially when combined with the P100 filters. And uh, if you've got any more questions, you can always put the questions in the comments.